Hello and welcome to Numeristical, bringing you the picks of the day for Friday, May 31st. It's 7 a.m. here in California, and uh, let's get right into it by reviewing the picks from yesterday. Okay, so yesterday we just had two picks, one money line, one side. They were both big and dogs, and they both lost. So we have the Yankees and the Angels. Model set picked the Angels plus 166. Uh, they had a one nothing lead, did not win. Um, and then also had the Red Sox minus one and a half at plus 183, and the Red Sox uh, lost five nothing. So take losses on both of those. The general uh, combined totals and money line is down 0.438 units, and the spreads model is down 0.428 units. Um, so let's get into now the picks for today. Uh, so here's the money line. Uh, games for today. I think we're, I still have one game that we don't have a pitcher for, but uh, otherwise uh, all games are represented. And uh, if we go down to our filters, Miles telling us to look at just two away teams. First is the Nationals uh, at the Guardians. Again, Miles thinks that the Guardians will win 60% of the time. And so putting in a healthy edge says we should bet the uh, Nationals at plus 187. So let's take a look and see if uh, we can find plus 187 on the Nationals. Um, so here's the Nationals, and you see you can get plus 190 at Circa. So let's do that. Uh, let's put down the Nationals plus 190. Looks like that's the best line available. So we'll put down Nationals, plus 190. Um, and next up, uh, the Rockies and the Dodgers. Uh, Rockies, obviously, a huge underdog. It's saying the Dodgers should win 68% of the time. But that still means that uh, we could bet the Rockies at 281. It's saying, again, giving us a little bit of an edge. 281 is probably a stretch. Pinnacle's only showing 240. But let's take a look. So, find here at Rockies Dodgers. Yeah, we're not going to get 281. We'll get 250, 254 here at BetOnline. It's the best one. But we're not going to get... Uh, not going to get 280, so no bet there. Um, you know, one thing I, I want to... Mentioned again is that, you know, when the model picks someone and says it's a good bet, doesn't mean the model thinks it's going to win, right? It means the model thinks it's going to win with a high enough probability that in the long run, this would be a good bet. Um, so just something to, to keep in mind, you know, both these teams, the model expects <laughs> that the favorites will win. The model thinks the Dodgers will win 68% of the time. The model thinks the Gardens will win 60% of the time. So, um, it's important to, to, to keep that in mind. Okay, moving on to the money line, uh, the totals model. So here's the set of games and the probabilities the models come up with for the over and under at the various point levels. And it's telling us to look at two unders, two overs. First under is the Red Sox Tigers, saying take under eight and a half. Uh, it wants plus 106, though, so that might be a little bit of a reach. Let's take a look. Um, eight and a half Red Sox Tigers. We're going to go over to totals. Um, interesting. Let me see. Oh, I have eight and a half here, but it looks like most places have gone to eight. Um, or at least some have. Um... So at eight and a half, we're not quite going to get as high as 102. Um, and the model wanted 106. But let's look at the um, let's look at these eight overs. I'm going to do a recalculation to see what the model wants at eight. Oh, I'm sorry, just show this. I'm I am getting confused. It's it's this is an under, so let me look again. I think I was looking at overs. Um under, yeah, so let's see. Uh Eight and a half under, then it's going down to eight, so it actually makes it worse for this bet. So actually, we're just not going to find a bet here. Um, once eight and a half under, and it wants better than even money, 
and most of the lines are going down to eight makes it a worse bet so um so we're just not going to find a bet on this one um next up the mariners and the angels uh likes under seven and a half wants a big uh 114 though so we're probably looking for an eight see if we can find any eight on the mariners angels um no and in fact it's going down to seven uh in most places you can't even get a seven and a half anymore so not going to find a bet there next up uh phillies cardinals um it likes the over seven and a half if we can get even money so let's see if we can find that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Phillies Cardinals. Over seven and a half. Nine. You can see they're mostly going to eight now. It's a couple seven and a half left, but they don't have odds close to even money. So no bet there. And finally, the Mets and the Diamondbacks. Again, taking the over. Again, the models not seem to think Luis Severino is very good. Um, based on his performance last year. So the model is saying take the over. Uh, seven, if you can get minus 113 with, uh, model, with the odds showing 116 right here on Pinnacle. Um, so let's see what we have at for that game. That's the Mets over here. And we want the seven over and we can get here we go at heritage minus 113 right so we'll take that so let's mark that down it's the uh diamondbacks mets over seven minus 113. so dx mets over Seven. That minus one thirteen. Okay, moving on to the spreads model. Here's the full list of spreads and the various probabilities. And uh, selling us just to look at one that makes the filters. It's the uh, cards Phillies. Saying take the Phillies minus one and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. If you can get plus one thirteen, and uh, let's take a look. Go over to spreads. Phillies cards is over here minus and plus one thirteen. Yeah, and here at DraftKings we can get plus one fourteen. Um, oops, it's refreshing. But right here at DraftKings, plus one fourteen. So we're going to do that. We'll do the Phillies minus one and a half plus one fourteen. One more five plus one fourteen. And that's it for today. Um, only a few games to look at, and but we got a uh, one pick in each category, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.